Hi, kindergarten. This week, we're starting a brand new topic. We're going to be talking about the pilgrims, and those are a group of people who lived a really, really, really long time ago. And today's story is called The Spice Seekers. So we're going to be learning a lot, a lot, a lot of information every day. Remember, you can always pause the video and go do something else if you need a break. Let's get started. Our first vocabulary word is ships. Now, most of you have probably heard of ships before. Ships are large boats that sail on the ocean. So see how this ship is on water? We have spices. Spices are items that come from plants and that add flavor to food. So you might put cinnamon in an apple pie. You might put chili powder on Takis. Those are spices and they make things taste different. So in this picture, we have a lot of different spices all over here. Then we have travelers. Travelers are people who go to far away places. So this person is traveling to a beach. Mm. Okay, so have you ever taken a trip to a faraway place that's not your home? I want you to think about it. Have you ever traveled somewhere? I know that some of you have gone on trips before. We know that Tyla has gone to the beach with her family. We know that Carter has traveled to Georgia. We know that people sometimes go to different places. You might go with your family, you might go with friends, but when we go around from place to place, it's called traveling. And in the read-alouds that we're going to read this week, you're going to learn about people who traveled really, really far away. We're talking way farther than Georgia. So these people lived a really long time ago and traveling was pretty different. Can you answer me this? If you were going to travel somewhere, how would you get there? You can pause the video and answer. I can tell you how I travel. When I visit my mom, who lives all the way up in New York State, I usually drive a car. If I was going to visit my sister, who lives even farther away, I would go on an airplane. If I was going to the school, I might ride my bike. If I was going downtown, I might take the train. We travel in so many different ways, but guess what? A long time ago, there weren't any airplanes. There weren't any buses. There weren't any cars. So how do you think people traveled around? Hmm. That's right. People had to walk with their legs or ride on the backs of animals or travel on ships like we talked about, boats. So how do people know how to get from one place to another place? Do you know how to get to the school from where you live? How could you figure it out? Well, I'm actually giving you a hint right now because on the screen, there's a map. You don't just guess when you have to go somewhere or you'd never get there. People look at maps when they're traveling and these maps help you figure out where to go when you're trying to get to a new place. So this right here is a map of the whole world. You may recognize it from our continent song. Because remember, we have North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, Antarctica, Australia. Those are our continents. And on a world map, we have to be able to see all of the continents just like this. But there's something else that we can see on the map too. What is all this blue stuff? That's right, it's water. So we have all this blue stuff all over the place, that's water. And then the land that we have are our continents. Now, I'm going to show you something different. That right here is Europe. And we're going to be talking a lot, a lot, a lot about particularly Italy, which is this country down here that kind of looks like a little boot. 
that's where a lot of our story takes place. And people who lived in Europe and in Italy are called Europeans. We're also, that's another picture of Europe and Italy. We're also going to talk about Asia, which is over here. Asia is a really, 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 really big continent. Now, what do you think this is? Well, this is actually a map. This is what a map would have looked like over 500 years ago in 1492. How does it look different from the map that we were looking at? A lot of our continents are missing. Because 500 years ago, people didn't know very much about all of the continents and the oceans. Now, I know you all know about the continents, but... Back then, people didn't even know that other continents existed. Isn't that pretty interesting to think about? So in today's story, we're really going to be talking about Italy and people living in Europe. We also are going to be talking about Asia over here. But back then, people in Europe used to call Asia the Indies, okay? So, in the time of the events in today's read aloud took place, some people who lived over here in Europe were trying to go all the way over there to Asia, to the Indies. Okay? Now, how do you think people got all the way from over here to all the way over here? I mean, we know what we would do nowadays, right? Yeah, we would fly in an airplane. But back then, like we said, they couldn't do that. So people would go on ships. It was way easier to sail on water than it would be to walk across all of that land. Because remember, no buses, no trains, no cars. It would be really hard. So whenever Europeans wanted to go to Asia, they would travel on water in ships. Okay? So we are going to be paying attention to where these people go in our story. Today's read aloud takes place in Italy over 500 years ago. And parts of the story are made up. And then other parts of the story are based off of things that really happened. And the characters in our story are this young Italian boy named Giovanni and his cousin Sophia. Giovanni over here is planning to take a really long trip to buy some spices. Now remember, we talked about spices. So here we go. Listen carefully to see whether or not Giovanni goes on his trip to buy spices. Sophia, Sophia, Giovanni called out excitedly. Last night, father told me that he and Uncle Gino are going to take me with them to the Indies. Remember, that means Asia. As he tells his cousin Sophia about his plans, Giovanni imagines himself making the journey on a mule. We're going to buy delicious, good-smelling spices to make our food taste better. We'll even get some spices to use in perfume to make people smell good. And in the Indies, they have bright, beautiful cloth for making clothes much finer than ours. Father says that if we can bring these things home, we can sell them for a lot of money and be rich. We might even find gold there and be even richer. Sophia looked horrified, but Giovanni, everyone knows, that is a long, dangerous journey. Sometimes it takes years to get to the Indies and back. If you make it home at all, you must walk or ride on the backs of mules and horses. Bandits hide out in the mountains waiting to ambush travelers and steal their money. If you get past the bandits, you'll still have to cross wide, dry deserts. If you run out of water there, you will die of thirst. And stop, Sophia, said Giovanni, holding up his hand. Uncle Gino knows the people who have made the trip, so don't worry so much. They've told him all about it. We'll make it, you'll see, and I will bring you back some beautiful cloth so you can make a dress to wear. Sophia was not convinced, but Giovanni seemed so sure that he was right. Just a few days later, however, Giovanni sadly told his cousin, We cannot go after all. In order to get to the Indies, we must pass through the great city of Constantinople, 
Father has just learned that the people of Constantinople have decided not to let any Europeans travel through their city anymore. They're blocking our passage. So remember, this is Italy, and they'd have to go through Constantinople. Italy, they'd have to go through Constantinople to get over here where they want to go. So if the road is blocked in Constantinople, then they won't be able to get past on the land. Hmm. Giovanni sadly continued, the people of Constantinople don't want us to go and get our own spices, gold, and other things. They want to send their own people east to buy these valuable items and sell them for us for a much higher price. Giovanni was upset, but Sophia was secretly glad he would not try to make the dangerous journey. Giovanni and his people were not the only disappointed people. All over Europe, people wanted things they could only get from Asia, the lands of the East. Some of these people were kings and queens. They thought, we're rich and powerful. How could we be even richer? Well, we could be richer if we could buy Asian spices and sell them for higher prices in other parts of Europe, just as the people of Constantinople want to do with us. But how can we do it? We have people we could send and money enough to pay for their trip, but now the road is closed to them. Can you think of any other way that the people of Italy might be able to travel to the spice lands other than by land, walking, or riding on the backs of animals? Hmm. What do you think? They don't have airplanes, trains, or buses. What do they have? European kings and queens had a new thought. Maybe we could send ships or large boats sailing to the Indies. Our sailors could fill the ships with wonderful treasures such as gold, cloth, and spices, then sail them back home. But how can our ships reach the Indies? They would have to sail south in the great Atlantic Ocean, far from the Indies we know well, and into the waters that are new to us. They would have to go all the way down the edge of Africa, around the bottom, and then sail up on the other side to get to the Indies. No one's ever done that. We don't even know how big Africa is or if the ocean goes all the way around it to the Indies. Maybe they are. there are huge hungry sea monsters waiting to attack our ships and eat our sailors who fall into the water. Do you think there would really be sea monsters? Maybe there are strangers who would not want our sailors to travel near their countries and might try to stop them. Hmm, sailing to the Indies may be even harder than going by land. We had better ask the smartest people we know what they think before we decide what to do. So the kings and queens began looking for people who could help them. They needed to find excellent sailors and brave explorers ready for adventure. Do you think the sailors will be able to reach Asia by ship? Going all the way over here, down underneath Africa, over to Asia. I'm very curious to hear what you think. See you later, kindergarten.